Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. I did not expect to be making a second video today, but I want to talk about this uh, because it just, it's, it just reeks of pure incompetence. I mean, I cannot, I can't, can't fucking do it, man. The Atlanta Hawks. Oh man, the Atlanta Hawks. You know, part of me wants this franchise to be very good. I'm not going to lie. Part of me wants them to be a very, very good basketball team. The other part of me, though, feels like, you know what? They reap what they sow, and they fucking deserve it. That's the that's the other part of me. And the reason I say that is because today, actually the past couple days, I've been meaning to talk about this, but now now it's like pretty much relevant out there in the, in the world. Uh... It came out the past, like yesterday I started seeing it, uh, that the Hawks are fielding calls on DeJounte Murray. And I, for the life of me, cannot understand why uh, everybody in Atlanta is the problem but Trey Young. I, I can't understand that for the life of me. Now, there's going to be Atlanta Hawks fans that watch this and go, but Trey Young's our, our franchise guy. He gets so much money. Listen, man, I'm going to say this, okay? I understand why people like Trey Young. I do. He got you to the West, no, the Eastern Conference Finals one time. Whoopty fucking do, Basil. People clutch onto that shit like it, they clutch onto their fucking pearls and never want to let it go. Okay, but the the fact of the matter is, Trey Young puts up amazing numbers for Atlanta. The problem is his amazing numbers do not lead to fucking wins. That's the problem with Trey Young. Okay. And I think to myself, Trey Young's a guy who's making buku ass money, okay? He's a turnover machine. He couldn't stop a fucking nosebleed defensively. And yet, time after time after time after time, the Atlanta Hawks continue to choose Trey Young over everybody else on their fucking team. Even though there have been reports that teammates do not like him, that he kind of thinks who the fuck he is and has more power than he should, right? We continue to go with that guy instead of, you know, going with a guy like DeJounte Murray, who, by the way, is very good, who you traded Danilo Gallinari three first-round picks on a 2022 uh, pick swap for, okay? You traded all kinds of draft picks for DeJounte Murray, and now, two years into this trade, after signing him to an extension... Now you want to get rid of DeJounte Murray because your record is 12 and 18 and your team till your team still sucks more dick than a Filipino hooker. I mean, you've got to be fucking kidding me. So, like and on top of it, the trades that they make, right? It's like what 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 like part of me wonders what the fuck they're thinking. Like they traded Cam Reddish to the Knicks for a second round pick. Cam Reddish, a young player that had a lot of promise right? Wasn't getting no burn in Atlanta. So we really didn't know what his potential was. We traded him to the Knicks. Then the Knicks gave up on him, right? And traded him to, and he signed with the fucking Lakers, right? Now he's playing for the Lakers and he's one of their best three and D players on their roster. Then you trade John Collins to the Utah Jazz for a second round pick and Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay is like borderline out the fucking league. And a second round pick for John Collins? You trying to tell me you couldn't get something better for John Collins? Even even though I get it, he's in Utah right now and even Utah's looking to trade him because apparently he's a fucking locker room issue. But you, you trying to tell me you couldn't finesse somebody out of John Collins? Are you trying to tell me the best you could... It was so well known around the league how bad of a teammate John Collins is that the best you could get for him was Rudy Gay in a second round pick? And now we're going to give up on DeJounte Murray who we have three first round picks, a pick swap, and Danilo Gallinari invested into? I get it, Danilo Gallinari's not amazing, but three, three first round picks and a 2022 pick swap? So, essentially, what, four first-round picks? 
but we're going to continue to go with the, the, the six foot, six foot one point guard. And that's being generous because I think that's only in sneakers. Maybe I think he's really like 5'11". Okay. We're going to go with that guy who apparently nobody likes to fucking play with. And you're paying an ass ton of money to, to continue to be mediocre in an effort to put something around him. Now, let me just say this. Okay. I'm going to call it right now. If the Atlanta Hawks somehow, some way, trade DeJounte Murray to the Toronto Raptors for Pascal Siakam, if the rumors that I've heard about Trey Young are true, that he has too much power, that his teammates don't like him and shit like that, Pascal Siakam is not going to resign there. I- I'm just I'm just telling you now. Like, the, the, I think the worst thing the Atlanta Hawks could do is trade for Pascal Siakam. If you're giving up DeJounte Murray to get it. Trade Trey Young to, to the Toronto Raptors for Pascal Siakam. Let Siakam play with a guy like DeJounte Murray. I mean, it, it's fucking mind-blowing to me that Atlanta is so bad defensively, right? Their offense consists of let Trey Young and DeJounte Murray cook... And somehow, everybody else on their team has shown little to no improvement. Dejounte Dejounte Murray and Trey Young get all the shots they want. But you look at a guy like DeAndre Hunter, who, by the way, should be significantly better than he is for Atlanta because he simply doesn't get opportunity, right? Like, how can we continue to, to blame this on the players? Like, I feel like there's a reason that players in Atlanta simply don't ever reach their peak, right? Like, part of the reason Atlanta had to go out and get DeJounte Murray is because they needed a number two, and they decided to trade for a guy that was already established instead of growing the guys that they have, right? And that's the difference between Trey Young and Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton is at least able to elevate the guys around him to an extent. Trey Young has not done that, will never do that. In fact, Trey Young's a guy that I think is going to get Allen Iverson out of the fucking league. Okay, like I feel like once he leaves Atlanta, unless he goes to another situation where he's the guy, he's teams aren't going to want him. He doesn't do anything off ball. He doesn't move around. When DeJounte Murray has the ball in his hands, Trey Young and everybody else on that offense just stands around like a fucking snowman. Like, they they literally all just stand around like with their hand down their fucking pants, scratching their ass, playing with their balls, and doing nothing on offense. And we wonder why the team is 12 and 18. We wonder why the Atlanta Hawks suck at defense. We wonder why they're 12 and 18. This team needs a complete fucking overhaul from its superstar player to the head coach to the GM to maybe even the fucking owner. Okay? Like, I I just find it hard to believe that a team can have go through all these changes and keep changing things up and it still never fucking works. There is such a thing as putting up good numbers on a bad team and they never result to wins. That is the problem with Trey Young, okay? He's a very good player playing on a uh, a bad team and his great numbers don't lead to wins. Whereas if you had DeJounte Murray as your point guard and tried to put stuff around DeJounte Murray, not only that, but like if you could get off of Trey Young's contract, because DeJounte Murray's contract is fucking phenomenal, by the way, okay? Like if you could get rid of Trey Young and ship him to a sucker, right, for, I don't know, some young players and maybe a, a pick or so, like he, Trey Young's getting paid so much fucking money that it's hard to trade him, so maybe that's why they're not doing it. But I just think to myself, time and time again, this organization has failed, okay? They have failed to put a winner around Trey Young, and so long as Trey Young continues to be the guy that they plan to build around, they will never win a championship. In fact, I don't think it's possible for a team to win a championship with Trey Young as their their star player, because he doesn't play defense, his teammates don't fucking like him, okay? He's... He's not Stephen Curry as much as he might think he is or how much he wants to be, okay? Like, Damian Lillard is better than Trey Young, and Damian Lillard was not able to lead Portland to a, a fucking championship in the, what, 10, 11, 12 years that he was there. If if Damian Lillard can't fucking do it, Trey Young can't fucking do it. So, 
I don't know, man. You know what? Even, even if the Hawks didn't go after a Pascal Siakam and got a guy like Jeremy Grant or just some Larry Markinen is supposedly out there, like just put something around DeJounte Murray. Like, don't, don't, I don't know why they keep doing this Trey Young bullshit and it's not working and it's never going to work. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I will go on record saying that. It will never fucking work. Hold on, I don't, I don't think I was clear. It will never fucking work. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.